Big changes are underway for the 20 mile long Yakima Greenway, including a new visitor center at Sarge Hubbard Park, where Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell attended a ribbon cutting ceremony earlier today. Goodell tells us it's the latest effort in an ongoing plan to improve the Yakima Greenway. Last week, they announced plans for major renovations at the 16th Avenue parking lot, but today they celebrated their brand new visitor center, which they say is a big step up from the old one, but still acknowledges the Greenway's history. The original visitor center was actually donated by Roger Knoll, and it was a home that he uh, owned in Terrace Heights. And back in the early 90s, that home was moved from Terrace Heights and moved right to this location. But eventually the community's needs outgrew the small space and the idea for a brand new visitor center was born. Three, two, one. Woo On the outside, 39 solar panels to help power the building paid for through a $20,000 grant from Pacific Power. Visitors will be able to come in and in real time with a kiosk that we have set up inside the center to see just how many kilowatts of power the solar panels are generating and just how many trees that means have been planted. The structure itself planned with a focus on fire retardant materials after a fire in 2020 destroyed the old playground at Sarge Hubbard Park and damaged the old visitor center. As you can see, we cut down quite a few trees that had been around the Greenway office building just to help provide some sort of barrier. Inside the building, a large meeting room for small businesses and nonprofits, maps of the Greenway, and a history room. So those folks who are new to our community that don't have an understanding of why all this was here and how it all got built, they'll know and they'll understand just how special of a place the Yakima Greenway is for Yakima. It just takes us into the next and the next step of, of what the Greenway has to offer for folks. Soon, that'll include new security lighting at Sarge Hubbard Park, updates to public restrooms along the trail, a shade structure near the Greenway entrance, and making learning materials and signage along the Greenway bilingual. To make sure that everything is um, understandable for everyone in our community. The visitor center is now open to the public, but will only be operating sporadically through the winter as they figure out their schedule. But Greenway officials tell me the goal is to have the visitor center open four days a week, regular hours starting this spring. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now.